Hello learners, welcome to the YouTube channel of CloudyML. Myself Simran from Team CloudyML and today I'm going to guide you all through another SQL interview question asked by company Amazon. So let's begin. On the screen, as you can see, is the question which says, write an SQL query to find all the numbers that appear at least three times consecutively, which means we need to find the numbers in a table which appear three times that two consecutively. Okay, so let's understand this with an example. As you can see, this is the input table, which is a logs table. In this, we have two columns. First is the ID, next is the number. Uh, the IDs are present in a uh, increasing order, as you can see, from one to seven, and these are the numbers. The output is one, the number one, because the number one is present three times that two consecutively. Okay, so we need to find uh, numbers like one, which are present three times consecutively. Okay, so now let's see how we need to code this problem. So uh, we are going to solve this problem using MySQL Workbench. You can use any stable version of MySQL Workbench on your system. So let's begin by creating a database. Create database. Let's give the name as data1. Okay. And use this data1. So the database has been created successfully. Next, we will be creating the example table, which uh, we have seen over here. You can insert any values that you want in the table. So this is the code for creating the table and inserting values into it. I have inserted six rows into the table. Let's see how the table looks. So this is the table that we have created, which has six rows and two columns, which are ID and number. Okay, so now let's look at the coding part. First, I will write the code and then explain it to you. So first select this thing, l1.num as consecutive. So in this case, this consecutive num is nothing but the alias name that we are giving to the column. From here, we create uh, three copies of the same table logs. Our table name is logs. We create three copies of this table because we need three consecutive values. Okay, so first one is logs L1. L1 is the name of the first copy. Logs L2, which is the second copy, and logs L3, which is the last copy. Now we specify some conditions using the where clause. First condition will be to check whether uh, the records are consecutive or not. ID minus one. And we will be using the and clause so that we can combine all these conditions. Okay, so L2 dot ID equals L3 dot ID minus one. This will simply check whether the rows are consecutive or not using the ID column. And now we will be checking the number values. Okay, so this will only, uh, you know, extract those numbers for which the three columns are consecutive and they have the same number values. L2.num equals to L3.num. Okay, so now let's uh, run this select clause and see whether we get the correct output or not. So yes, we have got the output as one because our column, our rows also had three consecutive ones, as you can see in these three rows. These are the three consecutive ones that appear three times at least, okay? So let's understand how we have coded this sum. We had three tables, as you all saw. First one was the ID. Second one was the number. Uh, in ID, we had uh, six columns, which were one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, and in numbers, we had the numbers like 
let's uh, run the clause and we can see the numbers let's run this select command and the numbers are 1 2 1 1 1 and 2 1 2 1 1 1 and 2 as you can see these three ones are consecutive hence the number 1 was printed as the output okay so what we had done what we had done was uh, we just made three copies of this table the, this was the logs table okay so we can say this was the l1 we made a similar copy l2 and another similar copy l3 Okay, after making uh, similar copies, what we did was uh, we just uh, compared the ID, uh, ID values and the number values. As this code, these two lines of code, wherein uh, first we compare the ID values. This considers only those ID values which are consecutive. See, L1.ID where L2.ID is equals to uh, minus 1. Okay, so Consider that this value uh, l1 dot id was two. For this two value, the l2 dot id minus one will be this number one. Similarly, l3 dot uh, l3 dot uh, l2 dot id and l3 dot id minus one. This would be the two. So this will consider three consecutive rows, and for that, it will check whether the numbers are equal or not. Okay, so. We got these three numbers as equal and these three uh, ID numbers were considered 3, 4 and 5 for which the number uh, of the rows was also equal. The value of the number column was also equal. Okay, so this was a, a simple solution of this problem wherein we considered three, making three copies of the table which is L1, L2, L3 further. We checked using the where clause that we considered three consecutive rows using the ID because as we know in our table, the IDs were arranged in decreasing order. Okay, So uh, first we considered the, a single value of L1 and compared it with the minus one value of L2. Okay, If these were equal, then we went to the second clause which says that was a single value of L2 was equal to the previous value of L3. Then this means that all these three values uh, were in a single line or which were plus one by the previous value. Okay, and then we also considered that the values of these three IDs were equal, which means that this one, one, one were equal. This is the reason this one, one, one were considered and also because this 3, 4, 5 are consecutive. Okay, they are in an increasing order. So th therefore, these three, 3, 4, 5 are considered and their corresponding values 1, 1, 1 were also con considered because 1, 1 and 1 are equal to each other and they are also in a consecutive form. Okay, so I hope you have understood this solution. Uh, if you have not understood, Keep watching the video and practice this solution on your own. Okay, draw, uh, draw diagrams, draw tables and understand, try to understand this solution. Okay, uh, so I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.